Hello everybody, Miss Debbie here. It's nice to see you tonight, as always. And the beauty of this is, you, once our program airs on its Tuesday night, you can go back with your link and watch it anytime you like, and um, watch all the old programs as well. So let's get started. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Well, I hope you had a fabulous day and are ready to tuck into Lily White's party and that you're maybe sitting in your bed already with your PJs on, um, maybe your iPad on your lap, or maybe you're watching on your, on your phone um, or you're sitting on the couch or maybe you're just outside laying in the grass because it's getting to be summer and we can do that and watch the evening come down and the sunset. It's really, really one of my favorite, if not the favorite time of day for me. So um, let's do thumpkin, all righty? Hands up, fists closed in your lap. Where is thumpkin? Where is thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Tall Lady? Where is Tall Lady? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Stride away, stride away. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, dude? Very well, I thank you. Skip away, skip away. All right. Um, that was a lot of work for your fingers, so kind of like squeeze, squeeze them, roll, roll your hands together, uh, roll your wrists out. You know, I'm sure your wrists and your hands have been working hard all day, playing and picking up things and eating and... Oh, that feels good. Okay. Got to get ready for bed. So what did you do today? Did you go to school? Did you go to the park? Did you visit a friend's house? Did you visit grandma and grandpa? Sometimes my mommy takes me over to my friend's house to play. Sometimes she's gone a little while, and sometimes she's gone all day. But my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back to get me. My mommy comes back, she always comes back, she never would forget me. I love that song. And speaking of mommies, this is called A Mother for Chaco by Kiko Kaza. And this is Chaco. He's a cute little bird. Look at him. Look at those big cheeks and his funny striped socks. Chaco doesn't have a mommy. He's looking for a mommy. A Mother for Chaco. Chaco was a little bird who lived all alone. He wished he had a mother, but who could his mother be? One day, he set off to find her. First, Chaco met Mrs. Giraffe. Oh, Mrs. Giraffe, he cried. You are yellow, just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Giraffe. <sighs> but I don't have wings like you. 
Next, Chaco met Mrs. Penguin. Oh, Mrs. Penguin, he cried. You have wings just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Penguin. <sighs> but I don't have big round cheeks like you. Then Chaco met Mrs. Walrus. Oh, Mrs. Walrus, he cried. You have big round cheeks like me. Are you my mother? Now look, grumped Mrs. Walrus. I don't have striped feet like you, so don't bother me. Well, she's crabby. No matter where Chaco searched, he couldn't find a mother who looked just like him. He didn't look like the elephant. He didn't look like the camel. He didn't look like the turtle or the hare. Poor Chaco. Poor baby bird. When Chaco saw Mrs. Bear picking apples, he knew she couldn't be his mother. Mrs. Bear didn't look like him at all. Chaco was so sad, he started to cry. Mommy, mommy, I need a mommy. Mrs. Bear came running to see what was the matter. As she listened to Chaco's story, she sighed. Oh dear, if you had a mommy, what would she do? Oh, I'm sure she would hold me, sobbed Chaco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and she held Chaco very tight. Everybody needs a hug. Yes, and I'm sure she would kiss me too, said Chaco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and she lifted Chaco and gave him a big mwah kiss. Yes, and I'm sure she would sing and dance with me to cheer me up, said Chaco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear. And they sang and danced and laughed together. When they stopped to rest, Mrs. Bear turned to Chaco and said, Chaco, maybe I could be your mother. You, Chaco cried. But, but... You aren't yellow, and you don't have wings or big round cheeks or striped feet like me. My goodness, said Mrs. Bear, that would make me look very funny. Chaco thought it was funny, too. <laughs> well, said Mrs. Bear, my other children are waiting for me at home. Why don't you join us for apple pie, Chaco? Apple pie sounded wonderful to Chaco, so off they went, holding hands. When they arrived, Mrs. Bear's other children rushed out to greet her. Chaco said, Mrs. Bear, I want you to meet Hippy, Allie, and Piggy. I am their mother, too. Hippy, Allie and Piggy. The sweet smell of apple pie and the sound of laughter soon filled Mrs. Bear's home. After their delicious treat, Mrs. Bear gave all her children a big warm bear hug. And Chaco was very happy that his new mommy looked just the way she did. The end. Isn't that the sweetest book? I love this book. Kiko Kaza also wrote other favorite books like Tacky the Penguin. So I hope you come to the library and find the books here, and you will. Um, and not all libraries have every single book, so you're lucky that your library has this book. So how about our feel-good song, Skidamarink? Okay, so baby's shorthand for I love you is this, right? Looks like a donkey head. Oh, hee -haw. 
And real shorthand for I love you goes like this. I, point to yourself, love, cross your heart, you, and point to the other person. So, um, And you can say that without using your words. And that's universal sign language. skid a -ma rink a dink a dink skid a -ma rink a do I love you. skid a -ma rink a dink a dink skid a -ma rink a do I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skid a rink a dink a dink skid a rink a do. I love you. Cha cha cha. Got to get that cha 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 in. Now remember when I wrote new words to uh, if you're happy and you know it, and I like this version because it it's good for the end of the day. Uh, the normal one is good for a morning story time where you can get all revved up. But now we're, we're trying to settle into to our nighty night. So we want to calm down and breathe deeply and get ready for a good night's sleep. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, then your heart will always show it. If you're happy and you know it, blow a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, give a hug, self-hug. If you're happy and you know it, give a hug. You can hug someone else. If you're happy and you know it, then your heart will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a hug. Now, the next verse is about winking your eye. Remember, a wink is one eye, and a blink is two eyes. Blink and wink. Remember our story we read a few weeks ago, winking, blinking, and nod. So winking when your eyes are trying to stay awake, and blinking when you're trying not to fall asleep, and nod when your head just falls asleep. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye, wink, wink. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye, wink, wink. If you're happy and you know it, then your heart will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye, wink, wink. When you wink, it, it's kind of like you're sharing a secret with someone. You could say, wink, we got a secret going on here. Oh, so our next book is by Helen Lester. Um, no, I, I am wrong. Helen Lester wrote Tacky the Penguin. Uh, Kiko Kaza wrote other books. Miss Debbie, how did you get so confused? Because I wanted to read Tacky, but we're going to read me first. And here's Pinkerton, the little pig. And the creature he met, who was a sandwich. Pinkerton was pink, plump, and pushy. He would do anything to be first, even if it meant bouncing off bellies, stepping on snouts, or tying tails. And here he is, stepping on a snout, tying tails, and bouncing off a big belly with his own belly. Me first, he cried, when he had been last in line and finished first down the slide. Me first, he cried at story time, settling on his round bottom with his big head right smack in front of the book so no one else could see it. And every day in the school trophateria, me first rang out, and there was Pinkerton, first in line. Do you know somebody like that? I think we all know people like that. One day, Pinkerton's Pig Scout troop went on a day trip to the beach. Pinkerton was first on the bus and sat in the front row. 
And here he is, cutting in line, knocking people over just to get on the bus first. He sure is pushy. Well, he was first off the bus, first in the water, first out of the water, and first into the picnic basket. <gasps> How rude. After lunch, the Pig Scouts decided to go for a hike. Off they went, with Pinkerton leading the line, of course. As the Pig Scouts marched across the sand, they heard a faint voice in the distance. And the voice called out, who would care for a sandwich? Pinkerton pricked up his pointy ears. Oh, care for a sandwich? Why, oh yes, me first, he thought. And he began to trot ahead of the others. Soon he heard the voice again, closer and louder this time. Who would care for a sandwich? Me first, cried Pinkerton, kicking up sand and leaving the other pig scouts far behind. He imagined, his imagination almost burst. A sandwich with peanut butter and jelly, two tomatoes, seven pickles, a slab of cheese, a blob of mayo, a big smear of mustard, all for me first. Look, his tongue's hanging out. He's running, kicking up the sand. Here's the, here's the sandwich he imagined. Who would care for a sandwich? Now at a full gallop, Pinkerton shrieked, me first. Over a sandy hill he flew and ker-plop, he landed face to face with a small creature with a bump on her nose and fur on her toes. Am I glad to see you, she cackled. <clears throat> I sure could hear you coming. Me first, me first, me first. I guess you really would care for a sandwich. <coughs> oh yes, yes indeed, replied Pinkerton. He jumped up and down so fast, <coughs> his teeth jiggled. <coughs> Excuse me. Good, cackled the small creature. Pinkerton waited. One second, <coughs> two seconds, three seconds. Well, he asked. <coughs> well, what, replied the small creature. The sandwich, begged Pinkerton. Where's the sandwich? The small creature curtsied. You're looking at her, she went on. I am a sand witch, and I live in the sand. And you said you would care for a sand witch. So here I am. Care for me. All Pinkerton could say was, but, but, but I. <clears throat> Taking no notice, the sandwich continued. You said me first. You wanted to be the first to care for me. Well, congratulations. Now just come along to my sand castle. Grabbing Pinkerton firmly by the sleeve, she led him around a few bends and before he could say, but I again, the gate to her castle closed. All right, my pink, plump, and pushy one. Now you care for me. You may have the honor of being the first to powder my nose and comb my toes. Seeing no way out, Pinkerton powdered her nose and combed her toes. Next, she crowed, you may be the first to put my supper in a bucket and feed me with a shovel. Pinkerton looked around. He had no choice. 
He put her supper in a bucket and fed her with a shovel. Rubbing her tummy, the sandwich spoke on. Finally, after you've had the privilege of being the first to wash my dishes and sweep my castle and do my laundry and curl my hair and tuck me in, you may be the first to tell me a bedtime story. <clears throat> Pinkerton washed the dishes, swept the castle, did the laundry, curled the sandwich's hair and tucked her in. The sandwich stretched and yawned loudly. Now the story, I need my story. Pinkerton was so tired he could barely speak. I don't know any stories, he whimpered. Then how about making up something? Oh, how about something concerning a pushy pig who always wanted to be first? Pinkerton sighed and began. Once upon a time, there lived a pig who always wanted to be first until one day he met a wise sandwich. Wise and beautiful, cut in the sandwich. A wise and beautiful sandwich who showed him that first was not always best. Aha, uh -huh, cackled the sandwich. She gave Pinkerton a slow, serious, and meaningful wink. Have you learned something? Oh, yes, 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 said Pinkerton. I promise I have. In that case, thanks for the care. Goodbye and good luck. She opened the gate and Pinkerton sped off so fast he didn't even notice the delicious sandwich she held out to him. Look, it's the same one he imagined. He's running away. He was just in time to catch the bus. On he scooted, <laughs> pink, plump, and glad to be last. Isn't that one of your favorite stories now? It's one of mine. We'll read more of Helen Lester again soon. I love that. <clears throat> so let's do um, the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The money on the bus goes clink, 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 clink. The money on the bus goes clink, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The people on the bus go side to side, side to side, side to side. The people on the bus go side to side, all through the town. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. 
It's getting time for Lily White's party. You know what that is. Lily White bed sheets. Because day is done. Gone the sun. From the land, from the hills, from the sky. All is well. Safely rest. Sleep is nigh. Sleep is coming. And who watches over us while we sleep? Our old friend Twinkle. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. So make a wish. You can share it with somebody or just keep it to yourself. It's good to wish on a star. Everyone does it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good night, Twinkle. Thanks for watching over us while we sleep. Let's have another story. Wow, said the owl, by Tim Hopgood. This is a very colorful book. I really like it. It's a book about colors. It's a book about a little owl. Now, as you know or remember, owls are night creatures. They, they stay awake at night. They come out at dusk. Uh, they wake up at dusk just when the hawks are going to bed. The owls come out and they, and they hunt at night. At night, when we are feeling tired and ready for bed, owls are just waking up. He's opening one eye. That's what a wink looks like. Owls live in a nighttime world. They have eyes that can see in the dark. And there's the little owl in the tree. But this little owl was a curious bird. Instead of staying awake all night, as little owls are supposed to do, she took a long nap and woke up just before dawn. Wow, said the owl. She couldn't believe her eyes. The sky was a warm and wonderful pink. Wow, said the owl, as the yellow sun shone through the morning mist. As soon as the sun comes over the horizon, golden rays of yellow sun light up the world. Wow, said the owl, as white fluffy clouds floated across the bright blue sky. Wow, said the owl when she saw that the leaves on her tree were green. Because we can't see colors at night. Unless we put a light on. Wow, said the owl as the pretty red butterflies flew by. She watched them land on the bright orange flowers which opened up in the warm sunshine. Up in the sky, the clouds turned gray and it started to rain, but the sun was still shining. Wow, said the owl as a rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet filled the sky. The little owl sat happily in her tree and watched as the sun went down and the moon came up. The daytime is full of beautiful colors, she thought. But wow, said the owl, the nighttime stars are the most beautiful of all. 
Too excited to sleep, the little owl stayed awake all night long, just like little owls are supposed to do. The end. I love this book. You can find it in your library. Wow, said the owl. So it's time. Go hippity hop to bed. I'd rather stay up instead. When mother says must, there's nothing but just go hippity hop to bed. Well, we have one more story, but maybe we should get ready first. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair before we go to bed. This is the way we blow a kiss, blow a kiss, blow a kiss. This is the way we blow a kiss before we go to bed. All right. Now we're really settling into our bedtime. Here's our last book. Go to Sleep in Your Own Bed by Candace Fleming, illustrated by Lori Nichols. This is really a fun book. Any book by Candace Fleming is pretty good. So you can tell it's nighttime because the moon is up and the stars are out. Maybe Twinkle is up there too. And there's the owl waking up. And you don't see too many colors at night because remember, you need light. We need light to see colors. Snuggled in, snuggled down, bedtime on the farm. And here's the little girl in bed reading a book. It's nighttime. Pig toddled to his pigsty. Waddly jog, waddly jog. But when he plopped down, moo. Who do you think he found? Get up, squealed pig to the cow. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, hay seeds, lowed the cow. And she tromped to her stall, clompity stomp, clompity stomp. But when she snuggled down, block! What do you think she found? Get up, bellowed cow, to the hen. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, fluff and feathers, clucked hen. And she straggled to her coop. Peckity droop, peckity droop. But when she nestled down, nay, who do you think she found? Squawk! Get up, squawk hen. Go sleep in your own bed to the horse. Oh, woe is me, wickered horse. And he shambled to his stable, cloppity plod, cloppity plod. But when he settled down, who do you think he found? Get up, whinnied horse. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, bother, bleated sheep. And she stumbled to her pen. Trickety, trippity slump, trippity slump. But when she huddled down a roof, who do you think she found? Get up, bod sheep, to the dog. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, bark and bellyache, whined dog. And he padded to his kennel. Sniffity drag, sniffity drag. But when he flopped down, meow, who do you think he found? Get 
up, wolf dog, as he chased the cat. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, drat, mewed cat, and she tiptoed to her spot on the porch. Pittery pat, pittery pat. And there she is on the porch. But when she cuddled down, here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 who do you think she found? Oh, there you are. Kitty, come sleep in my bed, said the little girl. Ah, snuggled in, snuggled down, bedtime on the farm. Maybe you sleep with a kitty or a dog or a stuffed animal. There's the owls and there's the nighttime on the farm. The end. Another fine book. You find a lot of books in the library if you can just come in and take a look. We're open most of the time. Wee Willie Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. Peering through the windows and peeping through the locks, are the children in their beds? It's almost eight o'clock. Now maybe you go to bed at eight o'clock. I go to bed almost shortly after that, sometimes at 8.30. I, I like to go to bed early. Sometimes I read and then I, I like to get up early. So, but I love my sleeping bed. So I have a lully, lullaby for you and um, I'd like to sing it. It's maybe you'll learn it too and we could sing it next time together. It's called Hi Ho Anybody Home. And um, it's, it's a nice song that could put you to sleep. <laughs> a nice tune that could put you to sleep. You could hum along if you like. It goes like this. Hi, ho, anybody home? Meat and drink and money have I none. Still, I will be merry, very merry, hi. Ho, anybody home? Meat and drink and money have I none. Still, I will be merry, very merry, hi. Ho, anybody home? Meat and drink and money have I none. Still, I will be merry, very merry, hi. Ho, hi, ho. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. I love, love that. That's a good song for singing in the car. Do you sing in the car with your family? That's a nice pastime. Um, I recommend it. Now, my song to you, until I see you again. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I love you. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. I'll see you next time.